What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video, I'm going to be giving you the latest news on the iOS 10 jailbreak. So a ton of news has been going around the internet the past couple days on the iOS 10 jailbreak and in this video I wanted to summarize all that news for you and give you guys the inside scoop on Cydia, the Pangu jailbreak, and iOS 10.2. So to begin I want to show you guys a new jailbreak that was actually released by Luca Tedesco for iOS 9.3.3. Yes, I know, unfortunately this was not released for the latest iOS 10 firmware, but as you guys can see on the left here I have my iPhone 6s that is jailbroken and it does have Cydia installed. If you guys did jailbreak your iOS 9.3.3 device, which by the way, I will have a guide to do in an annotation right now. If you did follow that method, you did actually have a semi-untethered jailbreak, which basically meant that if you had a jailbroken device, you restarted your device and tried to open Cydia, it would just crash and you had to re-jailbreak it. This is where the Pangu app and the PP jailbreak came into play, which is right here, the blue icon. But Luca Tedesco managed to create a jailbreak that does not require any of these applications to be signed. You can do it completely through through Safari and it will re-jailbreak your device right here on your device. I want to show you guys how to get that to work. Luca Tedesco has been involved with a lot of jailbreaks in the past and as you guys can see here, this is his website jbme.qwertyyourip.com. This is an easy method to re-jailbreak your device. If you did have iOS 9.3.3 jailbroken previously, you restarted your device or the app is crashing, all you have to do is go to the website that will be down there in the description. Go ahead and click go. It will say that it is jailbreaking. You will get a notification saying it's all set close the alert and lock your lock screen I'm gonna go ahead and do that here I'm gonna wait for the device to actually reboot here and you will see that I am re jailbroken so I'm gonna give it a few seconds here guys so it just started rebooting on its own guys just wanted to let you guys know that so I did just log into my device and I can go ahead and open up Cydia here guys and I will show you 100% Cydia is working this is solely thank you to Luca Tedesco for his new jailbreak again this is to re jailbreak iOS 9.3.3 you can do this directly through Safari just like jailbreak me back in the day Absolutely awesome. So hopefully this is what the new jailbreak is like for iOS 10.2. So speaking of iOS 10.2, on my iPhone 6 here on the right, I do have iOS 10.2 beta installed. And you guys are probably noticing that there's a lot of betas rolling out right now from Apple for iOS 10.2. We just got beta 7, which basically means the iOS 10.2 final version most likely will be coming next week. And in my opinion, this is the firmware that is going to be jailbroken. So we probably will get Cydia on iOS 10.2. And with all these betas, we're getting closer and closer closer to the final release. So I do expect that to be next week, which will be somewhere around December 15th. Now with Luca Tedesco's jailbreak, he actually did say that the lower firmwares are actually more likely to be jailbroken. iOS 10.2 is likely to patch a lot of bugs, which is what the jailbreaks actually use. They use bugs to exploit. So if iOS 10.2 fixes most of these bugs, there is a chance that it will not work fully on iOS 10.2, creating a problem for the jailbreak teams. Last time the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak was released, it came out of nowhere. So I'm I'm really thinking that following the Pangu team, following their progress, they really keep it under the radar. I think they have something special and they're not going to be releasing it until iOS 10.2 is final. But I really do think Pangu is going to release it for iOS 10.2 and we can be super excited when it is released. So it's great news that the jailbreak has been released for iOS 9.3.3 directly in Safari. Hopefully Pangu has something up their sleeves and iOS 10.2 will be released in the near future and I will be doing a review for that guys. So be sure to subscribe and smash that like button down there. Greatly helps me out. Also be sure to follow my social networks and I've got a lot of cool other links down there in the description for you guys as well. As always, thank you for watching. Stay awesome and I will catch you guys next time with some more iOS and iPhone goodness. Stay awesome guys. Peace.